So I don't normally do this, meaning I've never done this, but um, I snoop at some of the accounts that like my stuff on Instagram. And so we're going to listen to a local band, Pacific Northwest Metalcore. It's a vi the video is by Eric Croft. I don't know who that is. And recorded by Adam Mitchell. I know Adam Mitchell. I was I auditioned to be the drummer for He Is We back in the day, uh, way back when, um, and then ended up almost being a keyboard guy for him because they I was clearly better at keyboard than I was at drums. And then I bowed out, <clears throat> but that's a that's neither here nor there. Mixed by Bo Birchall, I don't know who that is, and mastered by Chris Collier. I feel like I have heard that name before, but I can't I can't verify anything. So let's have a listen to The Last of Us, Devil in the Details. I believe The Last of Us is the band name, like the video game, which I've never played before, but I hear I heard it's amazing. Uh, and the song is called Devil in the Details. So let's go ahead and. Go to zero and hit play. Some Kellen Quinn level. Let's try to turn it up. Some good lows. That's a cool melody right there, that little variation there. Drums are nice and big. I can hear the bass. <laughs> I like that range better than the chorus range. The chorus is just too high in my opinion. Hmm. That's pretty decent. I'm just gonna try and approach this as as peaceably as possible because I I don't typically like the Kellen Quinn style vocals. It's too high. Like I feel like high notes should be saved for a specific moment. Like it's okay to be a tenor. And even even hit the alto range tenor. Like if you're comfortable there, that's fine. But singing up there, at least in my opinion, just it's so it's so unstable. Hey, buddy, you want to come in? Yeah. Come on in. Are you singing? We're are recording. You, are you Are you operating Papa Dom? Am I operating what? Yeah, I'm gonna operate Papa Dom. 
Papa Dom? Yes. What's Papa Dom? By the Wiggles. By, oh, by the Wiggles? We're not listening to that right now. I just listened to a different song. Come here. Right here. And repeat the song. And Echo said, I'll repeat the song. <laughs> Is that what the Echo said? It said, I'll repeat the song. Yes. Okay. Do you want to go back and listen to it? Yes. Okay. You can go back and listen to it. Can you close the door on your way out? Yes. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, careful. Thanks, pal. That was my son. Sound like searching hour and on our way or something like that. I can't quite understand the lyrics fully, but um, that first note where we're searching hour and on our way. I mean, it's easy to hit in head voice, but trying to hit it in full voice would require a lot of tension. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you you agree, huh? I agree. I'll buy myself. And I'm not really into that tone. I feel like it would be more effective down in the uh, lower range if it was like searching our and not our way. Get more chest behind it. Overall, the mix is good. Uh, good mix by the by the crew. I know Adam Mitchell can record some good stuff. Also, Adam Mitchell is also a very talented songwriter. He knows how to write songs. And so it's evident that if he worked with these dudes, or these guys worked with him, he probably had some sort of influence. It fits right into the metalcore vibe. For a local band, the production is great. I could hear the bass, which was very pleasant to listen to, and the drums sounded very, very big. I just wish the vocals were kind of in a lower range. Yes, you can hit those notes, that's fine, but there's not a lot of power behind them. And now you can compensate for that in the mix. There's harmonies in there, and uh, and it makes it pleasant to the ears, so I can listen to it and, and get behind it, but wishing that the there was more power in the actual tone of the voice. Because it's so high, it's so falsetto head voice that like there's no there's no uh, grit. Because if I, if I hit that note, it, I have to do it in falsetto high voice, which is... How much power is that? It just sounds so processed when it's up there. And especially if you apply any sort of tuning to it, if you have to tweak the tuning, you lose even more of the vocal texture. The screamer can scream. Uh, I really like those screams. And the singer can sing. Again, I'm not knocking the singer. I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm not trying to... Uh, hopefully the band doesn't listen to this and go, you hated it. I, d I don't hate it. Slightly lower melodies would lend itself for more power in the vocals. Um, maybe as things develop, they can implement that or keep that in mind. Like, hey, you know what? This would this would sound more powerful if you sang it, this kind of melody. Because honestly, okay, I went to a Kellen Quinn show, whatever his band is called, uh, Sirens, S Sirens, S Sleeping with Sirens, and he was warming warming up in his trailer. It, it sounded like a baby monkey being swung around in circles really, really fast. It just sounded like, wow, ah, ah, and like, I, I just, I was like, whoa, okay, he's warming up. He's just warming up his voice. I was on the outside, so I wasn't inside, but I was on the outside of El Corazon. I just heard, nah, ah, nah, 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 and like, it just, all of the singing just came across like, like he was singing like some weird baby impression. I, I, I'm not trying to make fun of it. And I'm not saying this isn't singing. I'm not trying to be mean. I know this is a local band. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm just trying to make the finer point that the song overall and the chorus overall would be stronger if the melodies lend more room for the vocals to have more power. Bring in more chest voice. It's okay to hit a high note, like bring in one of those high notes, because when it's all high notes the whole time, I, I don't know, it doesn't provide a lot of vocal variation in interest for my ears. I think the actual chorus itself, it had an epic feel for sure. The second half of the melody where he goes, ba, 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 was cool. I just think they could have played around more with the melody so that it didn't have to be up there the entire time. But that's just me, you know, that's just me. For an indie recording, independent band, they made it sound really, really decent. I'm wondering if these guys have an album or not, but I'll go ahead and hit subscribe. I'll go ahead and hit the like button. 
uh, because I'm okay with it. I think overall is good. The uh, Screamer knows how to do lows, which is uh, sounded awesome. That is The Last of Us, uh, Devil in the Details. <clears throat> All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Uh, we'll see what's next.